Marcus Fernand. <laughs> you got a present. Yeah, Why man. was that? It's, it's, it's my birthday tomorrow. It's uh, some birthday gifts from the fans. So I'm very appreciative of this. So it's my birthday tomorrow. So yeah, we celebrating the day, I guess. What did you get? Um, I got my favorite chips, Cool Ranch chips. I got like seven of them, so, you know. Enough for a week. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to tear these up, though. They, ain't, they won't last long. Okay. They won't last. Yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow you're celebrating your birthday, but uh, tonight, the game, you lost. But what happened in the third quarter? Yeah, we just, we collapsed as a team. Um, I, myself, I take accountability first because, um, you know, my other teammates not here to vouch for themselves, but I had a couple turnovers um, down in, well, in the beginning of the third that wasn't good, and it led to them getting fast break points. And, um, you know, when you do that often, when you just turn the ball over as a team, the other team, they, the only thing you can do is just smell blood. Once you smell blood and the other team don't respond and they punched us in the mouth, we didn't respond and... You know, the better team won tonight. So kudos to them boss for, you know, doing a great job on defensively. And they got us tonight. Yeah. yeah. yeah I heard you had 14 turnovers in the third quarter. Yeah, yeah. And we only had two in the in the first half. I mean, yeah, in the first half, we only had two. And then we had 14 in the third. So, And the game before that, we had 22 turnovers at home. And that's not acceptable. Once you When, when you have turnovers like that, the, the game not going to come out very well. So... I mean, we, we, we bit the bullet tonight. We got, we got beat tonight. So, I mean, back to work, you know, yeah. back to work. How, you, how can you change that? Uh, being more poised. I, didn't, I, just, I just didn't think we handled the pressure very well. We wasn't poised enough. They got us out of our sets. They pushed us out of our sets. Um, sometimes I don't, you know, I, I, I don't want to blame the referees, but sometimes you got to let things go on both ends of the floor. Um, you know, if we being, being aggressive and they being aggressive, I think that's, you got to call that a little even, you know, but... Um, but all in all, they were just more aggressive than us, and they were a step ahead of us, and we were a step behind. So, yeah. we, you know, we got beat tonight. You saw the results. Yeah. So you have to work on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll work on it. We'll be fine. We, uh, we done been to, through adversity this whole season, man, but we'll be fine. We'll get back to work. We work very hard, so we're going to hang our hats on that, and then we'll get in here and get going again tomorrow. So it's all good. Yeah. Mm. Now, I saw um, yesterday RTV North. I saw you dancing with uh, Nivino Gertsma, the, yeah. the, the host of uh, the, the sports program. Yeah. How was that to, to dance and to dance here with the cheerleaders? Oh, man, that was fun, man. So people can see my personality because some people think that's just, you know, me putting on the show. But that's really me. You know, dancing and listening to music is therapeutic for me. And uh, just to have him in my, you know, in my in my home and feeling getting the feel for what I do every day and getting on my wife's nerves. It, it was a great, it was a great thing. And then coming out here with the chair leaders and dancing with them and learning their dance that they do for us, it was amazing, man. So yeah, that that really made me feel good and it definitely made my wife feel at home. So okay. yeah, it's good, it's good. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I imagine if you play a game, maybe uh, on the, I think in March against Limburg United, the first game for the Elite Gold, mm -hmm. and you win, you score, is you gonna do a little dance? We gotta win. I, I can do a dance only if we win, though, because my coach probably going to slap me in the back of my head because I, <laughs> he don't like all that. But, I, 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 you know, if we win, I got something for us. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll remember that. Right. Hey, happy birthday tomorrow. So Enjoy much. it. And uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Ja, Leon, je verliest met 65-77, maar de eerste helft stond u praktisch gelijk. Wat gebeurde er in het derde kwart? Ja, um, ik denk dat we niet gefocust uit de kleedkamer kwamen. Zij maakten volgens mij een 11-0 run vanuit onze turnovers. En daarbovenop verdedigden we ook niet goed. En uh, toen zakte de moed een beetje in elkaar. Ja, ja want in de eerste, de eerste helft hadden jullie maar twee turnovers. En ik hoorde net in het derde kwart maar liefst 14. Wat een enorm verschil. Ja, ja, inderdaad. De eerste helft konden we goed mee. Uh, we scoorden eindelijk uh, veel punten. Verdedigend hadden het ook nog wel een stukje beter kunnen gaan. Maar wat je zei, de eerste helft gaat prima. En dan de derde kwart uh, hebben we het een beetje weggegooid. En het vierde kwart en proberen we... Terug te komen hebben we nog redelijk goede acties die we jammer nog niet helemaal afmaken. En dan krijg je een beetje een do die gevoel en dan komt er wat extra energie, maar niet genoeg. Nee. Nou ja, het afgelopen woensdag tegen Rotterdam was het vierde kwart ook heel slordig. Is het dan voor jullie wat lastig om zeg maar, dan, ja, tot, dat toch in een korte tijd om te draaien? 
Ja, ik weet niet wat het is, of het een stukje laksheid is of een stukje vermoeidheid. Ik durf, het, ik durf mijn vinger er niet zo in te doen op dit moment te zeggen, want het is wel een herhalend iets. Ja. ja, want jullie hebben wel tegen Den Bosch al eerder laten zien dat jullie het wel absoluut kunnen. Ja, inderdaad. En met die mindset gingen we ook hierin. En nou, eerst, nogmaals, eerste helft, dat ging prima. Ja. Alleen, nou, zij gooiden wat extra gas erop en uh, we lieten een beetje, een beetje moed in elkaar, zat, in elkaar zakken. Nou zijn jullie wel geplaatst voor de Elite Gold. Hoe, hoe fijn is dat, dat je in ieder geval die zekerheid hebt? Ja, ja, ik bedoel, het is natuurlijk een, eigenlijk een must dat we die Gold League hebben gehaald. Dus in dat uh, opzicht, um, ja, natuurlijk zijn we blij, maar uh, of we tevreden zijn, dat is een ander verhaal. We hebben nog een wedstrijd tegen Leeuwarden, die ook nog uh, meetelt uh, voor de punten. Die nemen, al die punten nemen we mee naar de Gold League. En het is een derby en we hebben nog wat goed te maken. Ja, de eerste wedstrijd van het seizoen verloren jullie hier van Ares. Ja, inderdaad. Dus um, we hebben wat goed te maken. Succes. Dank je wel. Can you explain to me the difference between the first half and the third quarter? Because the first half was, was good from, from your team, but in the third quarter there were 14 turnovers. What happened? I don't think the first half was good. I think that we shot well, but we didn't play good because um, they shot even better. We were far from them. Uh, we allowed it pain touches. We it was it was promenade, you know, in in our paint, and this is something that was just the the the, the cause of. All the confidence they picked up during the game, and we just uh, we were not there. We were not there. We physically we didn't match anything. It was the matter of time in these circumstances, in these settings, uh, when um, we have our let's say downfall or a moment of not playing uh, offensively good. So. Uh, margin to make uh, such a approach to the game against the team as Dembosch, but against basically any team. And now, especially going into cross-border phrase is, is very little or none. So we have to pick it up and that's that's everything. That's you still have a lot of work to do. This, is, this was the game where we saw uh, how quickly and how easy we can go months back. In, in the feeling, in, in, in everything. Of course, we are now uh, kind of at the end of this winning streak and it's not the end of the world. But um, I mean, uh, the, the fact that we played today like this, it can happen. But uh, with this or any similar level of physicality, we can never count on anything serious uh, in our competition. So, so uh, we accepted they were better. We were we could have only shaken their their hands and uh, and uh, you know hold ourselves accountable in a way that it's not problem to to to, to lose a game. It's problem. I mean, the the question is how we bounce back. Yeah. So how are you gonna bounce back? This is uh, a question for inside each one of us, but as a team we have to pull out um, a game that is not giving as much space to the opponent. And then from there we can go into tactical, technical choices or whatever. But without this as, as a cause we cannot hope for any good outcome. So, um, coming Saturday you have the game against Aris, it's, it's, it's a derby. Um, what do you want from your players to see next Saturday? Just to be one step closer than they were tonight.